Utah. I'm doing a five and a half hour drive to get to a lake called Pangooch Lake. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I'm camping there. I have a reserved spot at Pangooch Campground. Not too far from it. I was hoping to uh, put the paddle board in today. Not sure that's going to happen since there's a lot of clouds, wind, and some rain. But I'll make the most of it. Then tomorrow, depending on what time I get up, my energy level, I might be able to paddle board in the morning. If not, I'll just pack up and go to my second campground, which is in Bryce Canyon, called North Campground. I want to walk the rim, maybe do a small hike. I'm not sure yet. Okay, now I'm on, I think, uh, 14. Just went through, that's pretty. <laughs> bunch of wood art pieces but I'm going through some canyon on 14 I think uh, was it Crescent City I turned in there and then ended up on this road I'm going up the canyon to get to Pangooch Lake and the weather doesn't seem to know what it wants to do doesn't know if it wants to be sunny or to rain. But it's pretty canyon, isn't it? Thought I'd let you see some of the canyon. It's I canyons are so pretty. Dixie National Forest. Yay! Oh, some pretty cliffs up here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Summit, 9,910 feet, and now we're going down. My turn off, and butch, and butch. I don't know how to say that. And butch. Cedar Breaks National Monument. There's a cabin.
going to go in, show them, I guess you pay your park pass here, kind of weird. Okay, so I found that I'm at Cedar Breaks, Utah, and I got my passport book stamped while I was here. I've been working on a passport book that I bought when I went on vacation to Colorado this last, no, when I went to the Grand Canyon, I bought the passport book. And uh, it's kind of fun actually getting the passport book stamped and then uh, buying a magnet too. I didn't buy a magnet because this is a whole separate area that I did not plan on coming to today. Uh, it just happens to be on the way to Pan... Panguitch? Panguitch? I don't know. The lady told me in there, <laughs> corrected me, but I still don't remember. I have short-term memory when it comes to words. And other things sometimes. <laughs> But it's about 30 minutes away to the lake. I was looking at the magnets, seeing if I could find one for this lake, but uh, there wasn't any there. It was just for the cedar breaks. And it looked like on the magnets, there's a lot of scenic cliffs here, which makes this the, which you can't tell looking around here seems pretty hilly so I don't know where these cliffs are maybe we'll come up on them but this road goes along the National Forest around it to some degree and then I uh, turn right up here somewhere Just trying to keep an eye out for those cliffs where are those cliffs <laughs> Pretty high. And the cliffs below us. I really don't like to be on mountain roads at dusk or dawn because of that. Deer. This is the time they start coming out. Those are some young ones. keep an eye out for them. They blend in so well with the environment. So it's like a little heaven for the deer though, doesn't it? Looks like there's a lot of trailheads up here. I saw a couple of campgrounds. Oh, there's the cliffs. I really hmm, wonder if I can find a lookout point on this road. They're to the left and they're below, kind of below here or equal to and below. We could really maybe here. It's so dusty though. It's smoky. This is the road that I'm coming up. And apparently the cliffs are all here. And then where I'm standing to the right, I saw that there was more cliffs that are you can see that are covered by the trees. I bet this looks beautiful certain times a day, not now so much.
So smoky. All right, we better get there. I gotta get my, I'd like to get my tent set up. I don't have to. I'd like to get checked in. Find my place in the world. This is where I come out of the park. towards the lake. I got a map of that place. I can look it over to see if there's any more interesting sites of that national park. I'm ready for camp ready to relax, check out the lake, Garfield County. Really nice valley here. We got cattle feeding on it, grazing on it. Very pretty. I could have been there about 2.30, but I made so many stops. I stopped to eight. <laughs> oh, North Campground, right here. That's me. I think this is me. Of course. Daily fee is 21 per camp unit. Double is 42. Extra vehicle, nine. Camp host, 34. I don't think I'm too far from the camp host. So I just gotta find out how to get to my site. I think <laughs> this time I think it's 44 or 46. 10 miles per hour. Look at this. Feel like you're deep in the woods now. This reminds me of when I went to Spanish, Spanish Springs and camped a couple of nights. so I can see if they don't have names on it, which one I am. Or they might have names. If they do, thank goodness. There's some first come, first serves. say 44. This is it, 44. I don't see too well, so hold on a second. Yep, that's me.
always back into your camp spot in case you have to evacuate. Here we are, home for the night. It's time to go check out the lake. I got my camp set. My camp set up. The weather is nicer than it was originally. purposely picked this one to get to the road faster. From what I saw of the map, if I can only remember it now, It's not that close to the road, but close enough that I can hop onto it and go to the lake. And that's what I want to do. And I, if I remember right, according to the map, oh shoot, do I remember right? I must, I think, go. There's a resort here too, and that's probably what's up ahead here, is the resort. This is Tuesday. Not much here, is there? Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. Pretty nice. Boy, does that look shallow and green.
there's some animal there eating the grass. four-wheel drive type of road. Not my type of road. there's another way to access the lake. I don't like this side. I'm going to drive down a little more. I thought, <clears throat> on the map, I thought there was a, like a little boat. They said a boat dock here, but even if there's a boat dock here, that's all mud. That's freaking mud. I don't want to go to mud. I'm used to bigger lakes. I'm not used to these small lakes. Horse rides. ride today. They look like they're ready for bed. Oh, here's a sign that says ramp. Gotta be better than that last one. It does look better on this sign. was meant for vehicles really. Maybe those razors. Well look at here. This is much better. Do I want to go in now? Must be a good fishing lake, whatever they're fishing for. I don't know what time this lake closes. Is it closed at a certain time? I should look for something. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like paddleboarding right now. Yeah, this is about that harmful algae that's present in the water. You do not want to swim in that. Make you sick. You don't want your dogs to drink it. I was thinking maybe if I get out here, I will feel like Paddleboarding. 
don't know if it's because I just did that long drive. Hmm, I wonder if that's a map. Rainbow, Bear Lake Cutthroat, Tiger Trout. Now that sounds interesting. I have never caught a Tiger Trout. Limit four trout. Two maybe Cutthroat or Tiger. Under 15 inches. One may be cutthroat or tiger trout over 22 inches. All cutthroat and tiger trout from 15 to 22 must be immediately released. Trout, trout may not be delayed. Any trout with cutthroat markings is considered to be a, a cutthroat trout. So... This is a nice trout area. It doesn't sound like they have invasive species. I am seeing so much jasper here. This has got to be an ancient forest. It's been always forest, my goodness so much jasper. I love jasper. It's one of my favorite. Look at that. All this, not all of this, but some of it. Red jasper, yellow jasper. Lots of jasper. Nice little beach here. Reminds me of my short line fishing days. Look, there's a fence there. Mountain Lake, Mountain Meadow Lake. I wish this was in Arizona. <laughs> if I got a fishing license, it would uh, cost more. Double the price, basically. And I thought there might be rain and clouds, but there isn't. So my decision, what is my decision? Got a little time left before the sun goes down, and I ate a lot, so I want to be hungry.
altitude is uh, affecting me a little bit. Not, I mean, it, not enough to say anything really. I mean, I can still paddleboard, it's not strenuous. doesn't help. Go back to go to my home. Let's see what this little resort is about. for 90 minutes, cash your credit card, we'll make it probably 55, they got firewood for sale, Resort patrons.
busy today. So I got my fans going. And it's cooler now. Felt overheated today. And my back's been sore for a couple of days and I'm tired. Didn't feel much like paddle boarding. Maybe tomorrow, but maybe not, because I kind of want to go to Bryce Canyon and explore that some. There's some beautiful scenery there, and I've never seen the hoodoos. So that would be exciting to me. It is pretty here at this campsite. I'm gonna have to start bringing things to do. Maybe some crafts, art. I don't know if I draw or anything. That would be too dark for that, I guess. I'm using my Lucy light that I bought. It's got a solar on the back. And you can make it brighter, which I probably should do has a flash. I hope I don't look like one of those people <laughs> with the flashlight under them at the camp fire. Not a lot of bugs up here. Nice and cool. It'll be a comfortable night. This scenery is really worth it. Don't have much of a view of the lake. I can kind of see it through the trees, but... I talked to the lady at the store, and they said they saw a mountain lion close by uh, about two weeks ago. I don't think it wasn't here. It was a little farther down, and I think the way she was pointing was like up a hill or mountain. Where somebody, some RVer took pictures of it. And there hasn't been any bear around here, not for like 10 years that anybody's noticed. I imagine there is a lot of mountain lions here in Utah, and especially here where we got trees, deer, and everything. pretty. I'm going to head for bed early, get well rested. I found I don't like to even cook too much while I'm out because I run out of time so fast. So tomorrow I have cereal. <laughs> and I bought some fried chicken. I'll eat that because I do like some heavy calories when I'm walking around doing stuff. Well, I think I'll head for bed. We will see you in the morning. Have a good night. Okay, it's morning now. And I've been up for a little while. Just relaxing, waiting for the sun to come up. I took my tent down. And I'm going to make me some coffee. I have a thermos, so I like to put coffee in the thermos, so when I wake up in the morning, I have coffee immediately. <laughs> I'm a coffee addict. And what I do with these like quart milk jugs when I have them at home, I clean them out and I add water to them and I freeze them. And I put them in my cooler to keep uh, all my stuff cool while I'm camping. When it melts, I have water. So this one melted, so I added water to my coffee pot without having to dig into my other water resources. And I think it's a pretty clever idea. But I'm going to make some coffee so I can have some more coffee this morning and put in my thermos for tomorrow morning. My thermos is one of those Stanley Steel ones, so it keeps them keeps it pretty warm 
all day long. But it's a beautiful morning, beautiful morning. I've been really just enjoying it. Nice, comfortable, cool. I've taken my sweater off. It's already getting a little too warm. So let's get the coffee going. So I don't always feel like cooking, especially on short camping trips because it takes too much time to cook and then clean up afterwards. So sometimes I'll just bring me some cereal and milk. Uh, I did bring eggs. Uh, Mike, Mike cooks up some eggs tomorrow. I don't know yet. But I've got food that I can cook if I want to. And then just some fast food. I bought uh, some fried chicken yesterday for a couple of days so I could eat that. But overall, it depends on how I feel. Today, I don't feel like cooking. I feel like wanting to go see Bryce Canyon. <laughs> I've been excited about that place for some time. But I do have to get my coffee going and clean myself up a bit. So I'll be doing that. I don't know what that thing is over there. I don't know if that's water, tank, or what. I just think it's kind of cool looking. <laughs> oh, this is such a beautiful place. Okay, down to eating. Well, I ate my breakfast and I got my thermos ready and my coffee cup. I just have to clean up my little mess here, brush my hair, and I'm ready to take off. We'll see what's next.